Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1 Fathead Candy Roth. Candy out today. Uh, got the message early uh, that she's a uh, little allergy attack, something going on there. So uh, she takes an extra day. Get better. We will see you tomorrow. Um, how about this? Here's a little fun for you. A guy named David Klein, the founder of Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. He's getting ready to retire, um, and he wants to give away one of his candy factories in a style of Willy Wonka. I guess he's got many factories, but he's going to give one away. Here's how the contest works. This is real, by the way. Uh, David Klein, the founder of Jelly Belly, says he's gone to all 50 states and hidden a special necklace in each state. And then you go to thegoldticket.com. That's the website, thegoldticket.com. By the way, I, I have not done this myself. For $50... You get a ticket to a scavenger hunt for the necklace in your state. If you find the necklace, you get $50,000. i am sorry, that's a bit much. You get $5,000 if you find the necklace, plus you're entered into the grand prize drawing where one of 50 winners, one from each state, will get the candy factory. So he said, let's do the math here for a second. Now, I'm sure he's rich beyond belief and he's got many factories. So this is probably pocket change. Um, so the founder of Jelly Belly, David Klein, is selling a thousand tickets in each state for um, 50 bucks a pop. Um, and he's giving away five grand to the winner in each state. So the 50,000 profit in each state goes down to 45,000 per state uh, times 50 states. He clears a total of $2.25 million uh, just for selling the uh, scavenger hunt tickets. And he gives the factory away. And there you have it. So uh, if you're interested, maybe it changes your life. I thought that was an interesting uh, story. Thegoldticket.com. And uh, you can win. Now, once you get the factory, I don't know, can you still make the jelly beans? What, what are you allowed to do? Uh, do you have the rights to to uh, to the Jelly Belly uh, jelly beans that are made there? I don't know the answer to that, but anyway, um, it is uh, that is something. Maybe maybe uh, you got some free time on your hands, and you want to uh, get out there. Here's some more uh, food stuff for you. Little Debbie and Kellogg's have teamed up a new oatmeal cream pie breakfast cereal. This is just what the kids need, by the way. It's real. I mean, more sugar. Load it on. Um, so uh, they're described as crispy oatmeal puffs with a cream coating, and they look like Cheerios had an allergic reaction and basically swelled up to twice their size. Uh, they will hit stores sometime in December. And Mountain Dew testing a new gingerbread-flavored drink for the holidays. If you are, I know Chris Jansen would be interested. He's a Mountain Dew freak. Uh, gingerbread, gingerbread flavor Mountain Dew. Uh, for the holidays, I think I would drink it too fast and you'd go through too many. Um, it's kind of like occasionally, and I don't do this on a regular basis. Um, occasionally after like a weekend meal, like a Saturday dinner, right. And I know I can sleep late the next day. Um, I will have a coffee and add some chocolate syrup to it. And it'll kind of be like a mix of like a coffee, hot chocolate, whatever. But I drink it way too fast because it's got the chocolate flavor in it. I could see myself doing that uh, if Mountain Dew was gingerbread flavored. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.